Hi, this is Bill DeRosa from Talking Finger, and today we're going to talk a little bit about QR codes. QR codes, uh, I'm sure you've seen it before, maybe you didn't realize what they were, but on uh, some printed materials and online and such, you might see these little boxes, and inside the boxes is these different geometric shapes, mostly rectangles and squares inside. Uh, and what they are is basically you use a code reader, or in this case I'm going to show you how you use your smartphone, and you hold it up there and it takes a snapshot of this. And what this does is it links to a website of some sort. Um, it gives you a lot more information. It's a quick and simple way for somebody to just put something there in a small space, uh, if they don't have a lot of space to put it on. Um, but it's a gateway, again, to a lot more information about that. And uh, I'm going to show you some samples uh, that we have here of different uses for business, uh, recreation, things like that. All right, so here we go. We have a snapshot of my uh, computer screen right here, and you'll see I uh, basically just put a QR code integrated into a sign here, uh, real estate. Real estate, uh, biggest problem real estate people have is people on the fly um, wasting their time, calling them up, they're in front of a house, uh, they want to see the inside, things like that. Um, one of the ways that we can circumvent that and we can cut down some of the time wasted for uh, real estate agents, for example, is to simply put a QR code on here. And what that QR code does is, basically here's a close-up of it, okay, here's the close-up of the QR code, all right? Uh, and it basically what people will do is just use their smartphones, and I'll show you that. All right, so here's my smartphone. I uh, happen to have an Android, um, but the QR code reader is available on any smartphone. Uh, just look in your marketplace or your apps. They're usually free, um, so don't pay for one. Uh, the Android uh, one in the Android marketplace is called QuickMark. Uh, QuickMark is the best one I come across here. It is free again, uh, but simply just click on that. All right, scan barcodes. All right, and there's my QR reader. You can see there's like a little uh, red square around there. So here's the, uh, this up here is the uh, QR code that I took off that real estate sign that I put up there. So basically all I need to do is get this thing lined up. Now you can hear a quick mark, that's a nice little thing it says. Uh, but anyway, here's the uh, website. All right, now it pulls it up and there's a website here. So I click on the browser part. And there you go. Uh, anything I want to know about this house, it basically just links directly to the website for the house. Uh, if multiple multiple listings, things like that. But best thing about this is somebody driving by who may be interested in this house does not have to call the real estate agent and waste their time with a lot of questions and such like that. They can go online. They can see the pictures of the house from the the listing, uh, how much it is, everything about it. Now. What this means is that the real estate agents don't have to waste so much time uh, with this. Uh, basically, people can get their information in real time. All right, now, QR codes could also be used for yourself. Uh, we're actually going to be putting these on our business cards, next run we make, uh, in our literature, things like that. But in this example here, this is actually my LinkedIn page. Uh, so if I put this on my business card or any other material that I hand out that I'm personally branding or needs to have my name on and such, uh, the great thing about this is that people can actually just take the QR code reader, buzz it, okay, I'll give you a little close up here, and that's going to go to my LinkedIn page. And of course, so you know, LinkedIn is basically your whole work history, who you are, your recommendations by people. So here's my LinkedIn page. And how great is that to have on a business card or something where people can uh, just actually in real time at an event or something, go and see all your accolades, go see who you are, where you worked for. Uh, it could spark up some nice conversations if more and more people use things like this. But there's another application there for you. One of the great things about uh, using QR codes is the ability for people to, in real time, at that moment, be able to capture your web page or uh, your Facebook page. Uh, for example, this is our Facebook page right here. So uh, if we have the QR code reader and I buzz on it, all right, and uh, there, it gives you the link, and we'll click to the browser. And there's our Facebook page. So now uh, they can just simply bookmark it up here, all right? And now the page is bookmarked for them. Uh, so that means anytime you're out and about and you have your business cards and you have a QR code on it, things like that, you can uh, just simply give it to people to scan in right there at the moment. And uh, 
have your, your page bookmarked right on your mobile. So we just gave you a couple of quick examples of what you can use QR codes in business. Uh, think outside the box, basically anything that has any kind of web presence, your, your Facebook page, again, your Twitter accounts, um, your website, um, just even static pages. Um, you just simply go to a QR code generator, and they're easy to find. Just Google QR code generator, and you simply type in the website, and it'll create the, this matrix for you that you can copy and paste and then print out or, or use within material. Um, so think outside the box, there's a lot of uses for it uh, that we obviously don't have time to get into every single one. But some of the other uses in the future we foresee is, uh, you know, we're all trying to go green. Uh, in the future, perhaps uh, some of the trail maps that we'll be using will be QR codes. Uh, if a, uh, a large park or recreation area just simply sets up some of these points with QR codes, people can just use their phones, click on it, and know exactly where they are on this trail. And of course, if you have any questions about QR codes, uh, about how to generate them, some other uses, or if you have any ideas how to use them, feel free to contact us. Our information is at the end of the video. Uh, Facebook is probably the best way. Uh, we monitor our Facebook constantly, uh, and it's an interactive forum where we can dis discuss things. Um, but thank you very much for watching the video, and uh, have a great day.